I may have to sneeze. Okay. <laughs> Hello! And welcome or welcome back to Party Trick Astrology. I'm Nina. I'm Shayna. And... Say it's all good, cause it's all good, eh? Say it's all good, cause it's all good, eh? Say it's all good, cause it's all good, eh? Here we have for you a little bit of an FAQ, a little bit of a... We just film updates, don't we? <laughs> just always filming the updates. Basically, this is a combination of just a few questions that we've been getting in the comment section that we want to clear up, uh, just so it makes it easier on us and you, and also just a few minuscule updates. A little housekeeping. Yeah. And if I sound weird, I'm sick, so there's an update. I'm fine though. I'll live through it. Maybe. <laughs> What's going on? We mentioned this in a different video. This shows the break between... So we're in the middle... <laughs> Mercury retrograde. Yeah, we're in the middle of Mercury retrograde, but we're also at the very midpoint of our rising series, mm -hmm. and we're about to go on vacation. We have some fun videos planned, basically, for a break between our rising video. I know everyone's, you know, excited to see their Aries rising Which and their Taurus rising. Which is very nice of you guys. I know, it's very exciting to see those things. We have some fun videos planned specifically for our vacation period. We're going to Brazil, if you don't yes. didn't hear from our last video. Like Nina said, so even though we're not gonna put out a few rising videos for the next couple, they are 1,010% coming. Yes. Okay. Don't fret. <laughs> It'll just be a little bit. And also, same with birth charts. Your birth charts are coming. Um, like we said, it just won't be until the new year when we get back and get sorted and whatnot. Speaking of which, we get asked in the comments a lot uh, to do the, your blank rising next. Yeah, like saying, oh, please do Leo rising next, do Aries rising next. And if you haven't, if you're not familiar with the order of the zodiac signs, we are going in backwards order. Mm -hmm. So so that when you go on our channel, when the whole series is over, you see it Aries to Pisces. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, no matter how many people comment do Taurus rising next do whatever, whatever. rising next um, we're going to go in order backwards uh, but yeah backwards order but you are going to get your rising sign up eventually rising and skit the next question that we get asked a lot especially like mostly on our interception videos is how do I find my interception Or people will say, what's my interception? And then just put their right side. But the thing is, is that I was doing that for a while. We were yeah. answering. But then I was like, the whole point of this video is to teach you guys. And we're not going to teach you anything just by telling you. Yeah. So we wanted to go over more clearly how you find your own and other people's interception. So... There's two ways to see it, because you can look at the grid form of the chart or the circular form of the chart. And people can see that they have an interception when they look at the Astro Cafe grid form, because you see that you have double of one sign. Mm -hmm. And then the key is to see which signs you have missing. It really helps to know the order of the signs, um, especially for interceptions. So I just count, and then when you see, okay, so four is Cancer, five is Leo. Oh, why isn't Leo there? It's Virgo. That means that you have a Leo Aquarius interception, and they're mm. always opposite, so you only need to just find one to find the other. Exactly. And then sometimes you might have multiple. So the way that we're going to explain this is by using my right side, because mine is a little bit harder to find. Like, Nina's is pretty straightforward. If you look at mine, house five, holds the seventh sign of Libra. And then house six holds the ninth sign of Sagittarius. So you know that I'm missing sign eight, which is Scorpio, so I'm also missing Taurus. And then you also know that the interception is held in the fifth house, because between house five and between house six is where I'm missing sign number eight, which is Scorpio. Mm -hmm. So wherever the sign jumps, you know, uh, let's say first house is Leo and second house is Libra, you know that you have a first house interception because it goes Leo and then it skips sign six of Virgo and goes straight to Libra in house two. Yeah. So, so you have a first and seventh house interception. So the entirety of Virgo lies in your first house without being allowed to have a house ruler. Mm -hmm. So 
that's you see where the missing sign is in what house and if you don't know the order of the signs by heart just bring up a like picture on Google images or yeah. something and bring it up next to your chart so that you can count it out now if you're to look at the circular format of the birth chart um, you see where the divisions lie of the houses and you see if there's a division or a cusp in each one of the signs mm -hmm. and if there isn't you'll see which sign doesn't which pair of signs don't have a house cusp ruler or which a will dividing be a, sorry which dividing will be a house. little arrow yeah an arrow or on astro.com it's like a full line you see which house that sign that you're missing lies in so if you were to explain an interception i often say i have an aries libra interception but if i were to go more in depth I'd say I have Libra intercepted in the fourth house and Aries intercepted in the 10th house. The way that you know if you have a planet intercepted is if you have a planet in the sign of your interception. So I have Mars in Libra intercepted in the fourth and Saturn in Aries intercepted in the 10th. And if you have a planet in the same house that holds your interception in a different sign, like in my fourth house, I have Chiron in Scorpio. That is not intercepted just because it's in my fourth house because I do not have Scorpio intercepted. Correct. Hopefully that clears it up. The next thing that we've been getting a lot and is totally understandable is I don't relate to this or why don't I blah 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 blah. But then a lot of times we find that people will go into I don't relate to this. I have explanation as to why they don't relate to it. Yeah. And they just tell you the things in their chart that kind of go against it. So when we do these videos, we're looking at a pure placement. Mm -hmm. So you have to remember like everything's aspected, what the rest of your chart influences are. Especially with rising signs, yeah. you can have planets in your first house, which really affect your rising. That's a huge thing. Like for example, we've gotten comments on the Capricorn rising video saying that they don't relate to Capricorn rising but they relate to the Pisces rising because Neptune is in their first house which mm -hmm. is common with most of our generation um, Capricorn, like, rising. Capricorn rising so just use common sense and kind of mesh them together in yeah way, if that makes sense hopefully you can understand where we're coming from with the rising videos and nobody's gonna relate 1010% because everybody has a full chart yeah but there's still always that piece in you it just might be overridden by other things yeah and the skits are very much exaggerated <laughs> yes so a question that's fun that we get asked is how do you ask somebody their birth time I was in the closet as an astrologer <laughs> for I'd say maybe a year or two a year and a half yeah quite a bit and so I do have some sneaky ways to figure out people's signs um, even sometimes people share their birth time accidentally. That's how I found out Shana. I just fucking gave it away. <laughs> I was like, yes, easy. <laughs> and I was just like, 4 p.m. <laughs> so you can often ask like, oh, how old are you? And then if someone's like, oh, I'm 23, I'll be like, oh, well, when do you turn 24? And then they can be like, January. And then you can say Capricorn and store it in your storage bank. <laughs> That's how I figure out people's signs. And then, especially if you know their age, you can kind of know their date. Or, yeah, you can say, like, oh, well, when's your birthday? Mm -hmm. That's not a weird question to yeah. ask. And even when people don't know, a, like, a ton about astrology, it's not weird to ask somebody sign your birthday. Yeah. Now, birth time, unless someone volunteers it. Which is a very rare case. I don't think that's yeah. ever happened until, except for me. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had anybody volunteer a birth time? I don't think so. I've never. You don't even have to say like, oh, I want to read your chart, blah, blah, blah. Like, we're Mercury and Capricorn. <laughs> we just say, hey, what's your birth time? Yeah, like, no. Like, no explanation. What I've literally done since ever is just been, what's your birth time? And yeah. then they're like, uh, what, why? And I'm like, just give it to me. <laughs> and then if somebody around them knows me, they're like, she's a witch. She's looking up your birth chart. She's collecting souls. And I'm like, with a proud smile, yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> I have over 200. So I've never cared honestly I just fucking yeah. ask I've asked like guys randomly before like I think it's honestly like if you're interested in a guy and you want their birth time it's such a great conversation yeah have. absolutely and just be like oh I do astrology do you want to hear about yourself like everybody wants to hear about you themselves yeah and honestly I've gotten to a point where I don't ask for birth times anymore because people are like so you're really into astrology and I'm like <laughs> Give me that birth certificate, bitch. <laughs> and now if you want to keep it really secret from the person that you're doing it, there's social media. Find their fucking Facebook, 
I found teachers' birthdays before. Yeah. <laughs> like, I have gone to incredible lengths. Even if they don't have it listed, scroll down, see if somebody wished them happy, happy birthday. Birthdays. Just search their name. Instagram posts? Yeah. Insta tagged Instagram posts. Oh, yes. Well, almost always somebody will post on their birthday and you'll be able to find out their birthday. Like, there are ways. I've just searched people's names and looked at all their social media until I fucking found a connection. It's intense. Yeah. You can find it. Believe in yourself. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and yeah, it really just comes down to what time were you born? And if you don't want to explain, you don't have to. And if they're like, uh, I don't know, in the morning, be like, text your mom. Yeah, just be like, ask whoever you know that has your probably. birth certificate. We also can ask some astrological references that we recommend. Mm -hmm. The core of what I learned as a beginner was on YouTube. Me too. She so, off of yeah. Foundation. Um, Alyssa Sharp has like, uh, series for a lot of placements mm -hmm. so you can watch her and she uh, speaks similar to how we do which is just very down to earth I yeah think, as just very relatable um, a lot of astrologers on YouTube I find I'll watch them and I'll even be like this is very thinky but she is so just like oh yeah like she put layman's terms that's how she speaks. You can just put in like, oh, um, Chiron and Scorpio. I usually just like type in websites and mm -hmm. see like what I see or what I gravitate towards in terms of like, oh, I want to learn about Lilith and mm -hmm. that's really hard to learn about actually. <laughs> it's the hardest thing I found to learn about. Honestly. Yeah. Um, but I know I use Dark Pixie. Yeah, that's really a lot. good. And I recommend this if you can read a birth chart in the circular format. I know Nina doesn't like this, but this helped me a lot. And it's using Astro Theme. So I use Astro Theme and I have an account and I have stored profiles so I can always look back at them. And then also you can search through their astrological database of celebrities. Yeah. And that's huge. I always look at celebrities or if I'm like watching a documentary, like I'll search that person's birth chart. Cause then when I'm watching it or I know about them, I learn so much of how they act through their birth chart and it teaches me a lot. So and I'd really recommend just looking up some celebrities that you love, finding connections of what they do that you like and that kind of situation. Cause it helps me learn in such a practical way. Or if you have a placement and you want to see what celebrities share your placement you can look up um, like oh Saturn in the 10th celebrities on Astro theme and that's how me and Shayna know never to make a sex tape because <laughs> Paris Hilton Kim Kardashian share those yeah. with us. I personally don't um, like Astro theme as much but I do like and Shayna doesn't like this astro.com especially for looking at the circular chart <clears throat> and then yeah definitely just find your website that yeah. you like and then in terms of books if you want to get a great comprehension of the signs, read The Secret Language of Birthdays. That is all about sun signs. But if you have a grasp on sun signs, you get a grasp on the sign tropes or the sign qualities. And then if you understand the qualities of Virgo and you understand the qualities of Mars, it becomes a very intuitive thing to realize mm -hmm. how they mesh together. And then for a more, not in depth, I guess, because the secret language of birthdays is like this thick, um, but for a more broad idea, um, I gave Shayna the only astrology book you'll ever need. And it honestly helped me so, so much. Like, I love the way that book is set up. It's very simple, very straightforward. You could skip here and there. I think it's just a really, really great book to just start figuring out things and making connections. I would highly recommend it. And if you have time or if you're ever in some kind of you're doing something like cleaning your house like I do, <laughs> that you can just like listen to something for a really long time. You get so much information from watching live streams, like the Peace Dealer has mm -hmm. great live streams and interviews where you're not necessarily learning about like, oh, Saturn and Pisces, Saturn and Aries, but just hearing people talk about astrology, that's really how I picked up most things. Also, if you're interested in not just astrology, but spiritual things in general, and if you want to dabble in Vedic astrology, one of my favorite YouTubers ever is Listen to the Stars. Mm -hmm. AKA Nicole Brenny and she deserves so many more subscribers. I did a life coaching session with her and she does past life readings. Yeah, which I'm she did one on, on Kendall Ray's channel. Mm -hmm. eh? And my last little tidbit of advice is find some fucking friends that are into astrology. Honestly, I learned so much 
not necessarily Nina was like teaching me, but just like talking about it with mm -hmm. my friends. Like just discussing like this person has this. Oh my God, that's why they're this. Mm -hmm. It's just all about like making connections. And uh, you can, for me, I can read things as many times as I want on paper, but I won't fully understand it until I like witness it in real life. Yeah. So that really helps. And if you don't have any friends into astrology, create one. Exactly. <laughs> and the last thing is uh, a new reading we're going to start yes. doing. Yes. So if you uh, buy the advanced reading, you have the option to have to put in like transits that you're worried about or mm -hmm. progress chart issues um, or anything if you would like. But we are also going to offer a $50 30-minute reading just on transits and progress chart. So if you're interested in that, it's going to take from that day till, you know, a year on, and we're going to look at what's going on and what's in your forecast for the next year. Yes. So it's like horoscopes, <laughs> but not from Cosmo. Magazine. Yeah, not just sun sign horoscopes. Mm -hmm. We're taking a look at the whole oh, picture here. Speaking of which, I have two more resources that are very useful. First of all, um, there's an app that is Sun Sign Horoscopes, but you also should um, read your Ascendant Horoscope because it has a lot to do with where the planets in the sky are falling in your houses. But Astrology Zone, um, she writes horoscopes and she can give you a monthly report based on your Sun Sign or Ascendant Sign. And that's fun to read. And also, Time Passages mm. is a great tool. It's a huge one that we use. Just breaks down your chart, or if you buy the full one, which you don't need to if you're not like into doing astrology for other people. You, you can it. download it for free and put in your chart, and that's where you can see your transits and read about your transits. And I think it's very useful, especially when I'm like, oh my god, this pattern keeps happening in my life this week or this month or something. Hmm, what's going on? Mm, yep, <laughs> sounds about right. <laughs> okay, so we hope that answered some questions that you guys have for us. Yes. And we will be seeing you next time in Brazil. There might be a lapse in videos for a while because I don't know how the Wi-Fi will be. So if we're not posting for a little bit, we are in fact making videos. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we just can't post them. And your rising sign will come. Yes. Okay, we're not going to skip Aries, uh, but we will make you wait because Aries are the most impatient sign, so we're going to force that patience into you. Ha 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 ha. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you for watching. And. Yeah, bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant.